Good morning, fair maidens. So I'm going on a trip in a couple of days and I wanted a charger for this, for the car. And I'm a bit cheap to buy one. I'd rather mess around with electronics. And see this arrived, actually two of them. These are six bucks each and they're step down converters. Uh, I always buy two because I'll probably break one. Now this will do 60 volts, I think, down to 1.25 volts. It's only current limited, so that could be a problem, but the whole thing is meant to be 8 amp restricted. So I'm hoping it'll do that. Now what I'm worried about is there's no heat sink or fan or fan area, so we may have to add that. Now this will only work when the ignition's on in your car, because that's 14.8 volts. And if we turn off, it goes down to 12.4 and the, the battery management system inside the Mavic battery won't allow it to start charging until it's at 12.5. I've done that test before. So if we quickly add some stuff to this, magic like so, we've got some XT60s on there in and out. Well, first you have to kind of configure these. Uh, so this little potentiometer part here has got a screw on it. You can turn it and that'll, so wherever voltage you've got coming in, It'll be a, a ratio, if you will. So we tweak this. So this is 60, we can tweak this to 30 volts. Okay, so what we'll do here is I'll plug this into my bench meter. It's a really good way of testing it. So we've got the in. So we see that the light comes on. At least it works. And we'll bring in the voltimeter. And so the moment we're getting backwards. 8.5 volts, but on my bench, I'm actually outputting 12.12. .12. So if we look up on the, on the bench meter, we put this up to what a car will be. So if you test your car when it's running, it should be 14.8. So it's at 11.8, so it's 14.8 coming in. I'll tweak that up somewhat to 13.1 we want to go to. Let me put my glasses on in case of those caps blow up. I'm not trusting this device for the advertised 8 amps, we'll see. Okay, so now it's going to output at 13.1 volts, which is what the battery works at, charges at, and uh, the ampage is completely unrestricted from the, vo from the bench, so we'll see if this restricts it in any way. And, oh, oh, we have a problem, We've got a full battery. It's on its rundown charge, so the ampage will be realised. So we'll look at the bench, it's only drawing... 0.7 amps. So it, what it does is when it gets nearly full, it'll stage down, it'll go like 5 amps, 2.5 amps, you know, 1.2 amps, 0.7 amps, and then it'll just get lower and lower until it finishes. So it's right near the end of the charge. So we need to go fly, I guess. Oh.
That was so much fun. Mavic is amazing. That bird of prey. Whew. Okay, so the battery's down just to 20%. Uh, it's cold out there and wet. And we've got it plugged in and we're going to plug this on and we're going to see, I've let it cool down a bit. I'm going to see if it works. So I'll plug this on. Okay, so it looks like it's charging. Uh, ah. So it's like it's only pulling definitely not current limited and it's only pulling 1.7 amps okay I just put that I just put the meter on there so I can see the ampage and it's yeah it's like 2.2 amps which isn't bad because it's a six dollar Mavic car charger if you're willing to put the plugs on if you didn't see my other video this was the the power supply for the Mavic now this just comes out as two wires so you can just cut the charge wire and put these plugs on each side so you can keep using your, your regular wall socket and you can use stuff like this to charge from your car or whatever. And we're in the landing now and just to see when the car's off we've got 11.8 volts, that's a bit low, it should be like 12.4 or something. Uh, this guy won't charge until we get to 12.5, I've shown that before. We should see that bob up to... 14.8-ish, 14.9 almost, and it's given us 11.5 volts. So it works. Okay, now we have this set up ready to charge, so it's got 14.8 volts coming as it would in the car, and this is at 20%, this battery. I'm gonna put the heat camera on it so we can see, I'll fast forward it and we can see how it warms up, and if it warms up excessively, that's gonna break. Okay, we can see it's up to the fourth mark there and the ampage has dropped right down to 0.5 amps which this is not going to get any warmer and it's definitely doing the job not too slow either i'd say it's probably two thirds as fast as the wall charger so it is a slower if you're just going to plug it in when you're driving from destination to destination and you've got like an hour and a half two hours you'll be fine and ta-da here's the finished thing i just stuck in some tube put some ends on it these are the xt60s so basically we've gone from a six six or seven dollar uh, converter to this finished thing and it will charge the it will only charge when the batteries run when your ignition's on I should say because it's only a step down converter so it's stepping down from 14.8 to 13.1 volts and it'll only do up to two amps which is still a little a little slow charger it's nice if you're going on a distance trip or something you can just stick it on there should be fine it doesn't create much of heat as you could see from before now remember I've done other videos on this and you could use something like this if you've got a bit more space and put this in a box. These are only like 20, 25 bucks and these are more versatile. You can change the voltage a lot, but it's still only a step up converter. So this will work only when the batteries, uh, the ignition's off from 12 volts or any other battery that's below 13.1 volts. Now if you keep watching my videos, I'm going to, I've got some bits on order and I want to make one of these, which costs like 15 bucks, $15 or 12, 10 pounds, English pounds. And it will do a step up and step down and hopefully have a little light and a switch so you can say ignition on, ignition off. And hopefully that's one of my future projects and that'll work at full, the 400 watts, so it'll be eight amp. Uh, we'll see, this has been a bit of a fail on the power, I hoped it would be more ampage, but it seems it'll only do uh, two to three amps for some reason. But there's no heat sinks on it or anything like that, so there's no MOSFETs on it, so I was kind of wondering how it was gonna uh, deal with so much ampage. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And if so, I'll do some more videos on this battery charging stuff. I mean, you can buy a battery charger for 50 bucks, I think. So if you don't want to mess around, just do that. It's, it'll only be six amp, not eight amp. But uh, it's just easy, you know. But this is just an easy way. You have to cut your wire. You have to borrow your, uh, your, your nads from your missus to cut the cable and give them back pretty quick before she knows. And apart from that, it's pretty easy. There's only two wires in here. You don't have to ruin your, your PSC. You can just pull you back in if you put XT60s on each end. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.